So the one person that Will Smith would least expect would speak up on his behalf and actually not only support him, but really thinks that him slapping Chris Rock was correct is none other than the original Aunt Viv, Janet Hubert. Let's get into it, shall we? Hello, everyone. It's your girl, Miss Sound Local. I am back. I was supposed to come back earlier today, but I'm not going to lie. I, 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 I had to sleep. I'm not going to even lie to you all. So I noticed this about a couple of days ago that Janet Hubert, the original Aunt Viv, actually has been vocal about her defending Will Smith over the slap heard around the world. That's what I'm going to call it. So the New York Post basically wrote the article and this was the next day. Actually, Jenna Huber gave her statement following Will Smith winning the Academy Award. So it reads, according to the New York Post, Fresh Prince co-star Janet Hubert defends Will Smith. Sometimes you have to slap back. Aunt Viv still has some love for the Fresh Prince. Janet Hubert, who originated the character Vivian Banks in the 1990s TV series starring Will Smith, came to the new Oscar winner's defense after the King Richard actor slapped comedian Chris Rock during the Academy Awards ceremony on Sunday. So proud of you, she posted on Instagram after Smith 53 accepted his best actor honors for playing Richard Williams, father and coach of tennis legends Venus and Serena. Hubert then addressed the earlier fiasco. There's only... So much one can take. Sometimes you have to slap back. Huber 66 continued. Celebrate the win. Nothing else matters. Both actions were incorrect, but Chris didn't need to go there. She added, of the Everybody Hates Chris creator, met him once, it was enough for me. Very mean-spirited. Hmm. Over on Twitter, she elaborated even further. I cannot tell you how many times I have wanted to slap the mess out of so many folks who have disrespected me, she wrote. Will stood up for his wife, Chris Rock. Chris Rock is always disrespecting black women. Mean-spirited, hides behind comedy. Bull. Mm-hmm. The shocking Oscars moment was prompted by a dig from Rock 57 at Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett Smith 50, who suffers from hair loss due to alopecia. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. He jokes from the stage. Cameras then turned to the Red Table Talk host who showed her grimace in response. Seconds later, Smith could be seen walking onto the stage without explanation, then winding up and taking a swing at Rock. Wow, Will Smith just smacked the sh out of me, the presenter said as Smith exited the stage and was quickly joined by Denzel Washington and Tyler Perry, who appeared to console both Will and Jada. Much of the audio during the he their heat exchange was muted for U.S. audiences. But back in his seat, Smith could be seen mouthing these words, keep my wife's name out your effing mouth. The loud exchange was not censored in some other countries. Janet Hubert, let me see. Sorry about that. The once beloved actor, the beloved actor once counted Hubert among his famous few of people that he didn't get along with. It's been reported that a fallout between the two Fresh Prince stars catalyzed Hubert's exit from the show. With her then replaced by Daphne Maxwell Reed as Aunt Viv for the remaining three seasons. Hubert once blamed Smith, a producer of the show, for her abrupt departure and the gossip that ensued. According to her 2009 tell-all memoir, Perfection is Not a Sitcom Mom, a 2016 Los Angeles Times interview revealed how Hubert felt shunned by her former castmates in the industry following her exit. Take it from me, I was blacklisted. 
blacklisted, truly. I couldn't feed my child. They left me penniless, homeless, and worthless. But, I, but what I always had was my dignity, and I always will, she said. Her comments then spurred by Jada and Will's proposed boycott of the Oscars that year, which Hubert characterized as a contrived publicity ploy. The Smiths just irked me because they are such pretenders, and everything is a photo op. Hubert also dished. The two hadn't spoken for 27 years until late 2020, when HBO aired a Fresh Prince reunion special for the 30th, 30th anniversary of the series premiere. Yeah, it felt like Jesus forgave Judas, didn't it? She told the Post in 2021 regarding their burying of the hatchet and the well wishes she received from fans. I am going to say something and I'm going to be honest about this. I think this is so beautiful. I think this is so beautiful you don't even know. And I'm going to break it down as to why. You have to understand that when the Fresh Prince premiered, everyone was speaking about Will's performance. But there was somebody else's performance that was critically acclaimed. And that was Janet Heber's portrayal of Aunt Viv. Her Aunt Viv was so powerful and it was just so touching to see a black woman who was a professor of English at a prestigious university, married to a prestigious attorney, and having three children take in her son, her, her, her sister's nephew, okay? And even though Uncle Phil didn't really welcome the idea, it was her character who really pushed for it. And on the show, you really saw that Aunt Viv and... Will had a really great chemistry. And I was surprised when I read back in 1993 that she was fired and that she didn't get along with Will at all. Now, Quincy Jones, I was surprised with because that's the other person that really pushed for her to be fired as well as some of the other top executives. But Will, he took a part in this. But Will was going along with the program because it was like, listen, I'm about to be a big star I can't ruin it. I'm going to be playing Sydney Port um the man who pretends to be Sydney Portes son and I can't have somebody who might want to sab- sabotage my career, let alone my movie, soon be movie career. So she was basically sacrificed. And Will Smith went to be a big mega star, okay? Now, I always say this When people apologize and when you forgive, that is when healing starts. But that's also when karma comes and it comes on both parts. While Will didn't apologize to Janet Hubert, he was really, really huge, really big, mega, massive. Janet Hubert and her son struggled. She barely got work. She was literally blackballed. In 2016 and 2018, she talked about the phoniness of the Smiths. And then she talked about the Red Table Talk. It's called the Butcher. She would say, I'm going to call it the Butcher Table. And she said something that was profound. She said, Jada, you talk too much. You talk too much. And it's affecting your children. And it's even affecting Will. And she called that out the summer of 18. And if you want to listen to the audio, I'm going to post a link of it. Because I did a commentary about this back in September of 18. Okay? I even talked about Janet Hubert getting the role of one of the of the sister of one of the nurses, of the social worker, portrayed by... The woman, um, the woman who played Will Smith's mom on Fresh Prince. So they were vying for the affection of this man. And I believe the man was white, but it was on General Hospital. She really got started getting doors open because she calls out the hypocrisy from Will and Jada. But the reunion, okay, 
of the of the 30th anniversary of the Fresh Prince premiere when it was on HBO Max because I saw it. it was a very good reunion. Will Smith said, you know, this reunion wouldn't be complete if I didn't speak to Janet, who is the original Aunt Viv. Now, everyone in the room was polite, but what's his name? Alfonso Rivera, he kind of had a look like, okay, like, why are you trying to reconcile with this woman? So you see him actually in another um, episode, another scene, and he explains to them that he spoke to her the day before this meeting. And they had an exchange and it went really well. And I saw it, I gotta say, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. And he apologized to her first and foremost. And he said, I was, you know, I was being, you know, rude because, you know, I got caught up. I was young, I was driven, I was successful. And I wish I could have did things differently. And you know what she said? She said, I accept your apology, but I was bitter for years. And if I could do it all over again, I too, I I would not harbor all the resentment towards you. And she said that it was killing her. And she said that she got fired because she was pregnant. She got pregnant and they felt that she was not complying with her contract. And she said for decades, she harbored resentment and it affected her health and it affected her relationship with her son. And COVID changed everything. That's when she realized, I need to let it go. I need to forgive. So she was actually trying to contact Will Smith, but Will Smith reached out to her. So they were both trying to, you know, like, hatch their differences, extend an olive branch. And what he did was he invited Janet Hubert to the set. And she got to meet the second Aunt Viv, Daphne Maxwell Reed. She got to, you know, um, hug um, Tatiana Ali, portrayed by um, portrayed Ashley, um, um, Karen Parsons, who played Hillary. Jeffrey, she got to, um, I can't think of his name. And she finally got to meet little Nikki. And little Nikki said, if it wasn't for Janet Hubert getting pregnant, I would have never been a part of the Fresh Friends. So I thank her because indirectly she propelled my career. Okay. So Jazz even hugged her, but guess who left? Alfonso Rivero. And guess what? His best friend, Alfonso Rivero, has yet to come forward and talk about defending his friend, Will Smith. But Janet Hubert, the woman that hated him for almost 30 years, is defending him. Now, she's not saying that, you know, I'm I'm all for the slap, but I understand it. I understand it because I know what it's like. When sometimes you feel like you got to slap somebody. And I'm sure she wanted to slap Will many times. But guess what happened after she defended him? She's been getting work after work after work because she let that go. He even came to one of her events where she was being praised. He and her have a good relationship since reacquainting with each other almost two years ago. But check this out. She says something about Chris Rock, and this is something that I've been saying to for many to many people. I've been saying that I know people who know him, and I'm going to read this again. She said, in regards to Chris Rock, I met him once. It was enough for me. Very mean spirited. Okay, Chris Rock is always disrespecting black women. Mean spirited hides behind comedy. Well, this is what I was saying that many people checked me on my, uh, my, like me being a fan of Chris Rock's work. And they were like, Joy, this is not who, he's not who he is. He's funny, 
But he's not funny for us. He's funny for white people. He cracks jokes on us for their amusement. And it took me years to, to figure out and see for it myself. And I'm like, wow. I had the I had my blinders on. And I don't really look at it the same. The only movie I can really look at is Head of State. I can watch Head of State. But I mean, when I saw the, when I saw the light, I was shocked. Now, I could see Jenna Hoover saying that she met Chris Rock, because I'm going to explain to you why. What do Chris Rock, Jenna Hoover, Jada Pickett Smith, and Will Smith have in common? They all worked on shows that aired on NBC. They came from NBC. NBC made them stars. Chris Rock, Saturday Night Live. Jenna Hoover, Will Smith, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And... Jada Pinkett Smith, A Different World. So they have that NBC connection, Peacock thing going on. And to me, I find it very interesting that she even praised Jada and said, Jada, you look stunning. And she said, sometimes you just got to slap somebody. And she said, the joke was not called for. And that's what we're all saying. And I've been saying this, Wilson has smacked him, but the joke wasn't called for. He didn't need to go there. And joke and Chris joke is what started the catalyst. And like I say, and she says, and we both agree, we'll celebrate the win. Nothing else matters. Now, I am going to say something because I want to be fair about this receipt. I do believe that somewhere in Janet Huber's praising of Will Smith and supporting him, I do believe that she wants to work with him again. And I'm going to tell you something. Homegirl, you playing the cards right. Because guess what? Will Smith going to cast you in Bel-Air. He going to cast Janet Huber in Bel-Air. Mark my words. He going to cast in Bel-Air. And... If he does cast her in Bel Air, he's probably going to cast her in some of his movies. Watch, because nobody else, Tatiana Ali, Cameron Parsons, Jeffrey, maybe he hasn't been asked. Now, Jazzy Jeff, I know he got his back, but Alfonso Ribeiro, who he put in one of his movies, he didn't even say anything. And that tells you something. So kudos to Janet Hubert. I've been rocking with Janet Hubert from day one. And even though some of y'all ain't been messing with her since she called out Cosby, you know, I gave my two cents on that. Well, she calls out really um, Felicia Richard. I mean, even though I disagree with, you know, her stance on a lot of it, but still, Janet Hubert, when it comes to the, when it comes to her situation with um, what happened to French Prince, I rock with her 100% on that. I rocked with her on that. And I rock with her even more because... She forgave him and she praised him for winning that Oscar and supporting him even with what happened. And she stands by him. And that is beautiful. And this is your girl, Miss Ann Little Cool. I am signing off. Stay tuned. I have some more commentaries coming up and I'll be back later. Take care.